Neil, how would you describe your approach to this game on the matter of firing out last week? Well, obviously, we're in a, a very strong position going into the, this game, but um, it's a game we want to win. You know, obviously, we will look at you know changing you know a few of the players, not overdo it, but we're here to win the tie and keep momentum going. Obviously, the league campaign starts on on Saturday as well, and we want to keep that momentum going. The momentum we've already built up over the past few weeks. So are you concerned that you don't want to change it too much that that affects the momentum you're starting to find? Yes, we've um, obviously going to change a little bit because some of the players, for example, Christopher Julian, you know, needs some game time, so he will start tomorrow. Um, so there's a few that you know we want to get up to match fitness, match sharpness, but obviously we'll still be as strong as possible in, in that context. Has Julian been jumping a bit? Okay. He's been good. He's been patient. Um, he's worked very hard. Obviously, we've had a you know a couple of bounce games, but they're no replacement for actual competitive games. So, yeah, he's ready to play now, and I think he's looking forward to it. Team-wise, dictating any injuries or anything dictating what you can and can't do? Well, we're going to rest. You know, McGregor and Forrest haven't travelled, so they've obviously played a lot of football over the last 12 to 18 months, and it's a good opportunity just to give them, you know, a little bit of rest before obviously the campaign kicks off on Saturday, and then you know, hopefully, if we can negotiate this tie, then for the the following qualification games. But in terms of injuries, um. Yeah, Marion Schved's back in the squad, um, and Bayo and Koasi are still a little bit short, so they haven't travelled either. But Rob, it's a great, it's a great position. It is, a fun, you know, I couldn't have asked any more really. You know, clean sheet, five goals. But again, I really, we're not taking the tie lightly. You know, we're coming here with a strong squad, and we'll put a strong team out tomorrow. You know, some of the guys are hungry and, and need to play. And it's important, like I said earlier, that we keep the momentum going that we've built up over the last few weeks. It's really important. And we, we obviously want to win the game as, as best we can. There's obviously a lot of excitement at the moment about Ryan Christie and the level he's reaching already. He's had a yeah, a great couple of games. Um, it doesn't surprise us, you know, the quality of player that he is. I thought he was fantastic in his all-round game last week. and. Um, you know, he's weighing in with goals now, um, and that's an important position for us, you know, getting goals from attacking midfield, which is something that we're looking to improve on as the season goes on. Any questions? Um, how would you compare the, the mental preparation uh, for your team, like to, for tomorrow's game and uh, for the for the last game uh, last week? Is it is it easier or harder to pre to prepare your team mentally in consider the, the score already 5-0? Uh, it's a very good question. Um, complacency is your enemy in a, in a situation like this. Um, obviously, most people will see, you know, Celtic qualifying as a foregone conclusion. But we have to be as professional as we can, and um, I think it's important that even in the strong position that we're in, we we come here and compete and, and try and win the game. And that's exactly what will be the attitude we'll be adopting going into the game. Um, I don't think the scoreline flattered us. I think we played very very well. But I also think going away from home at any stage in the Champions League, these are always difficult ties and we must prepare the team mentally and physically as best we can.